on January 10th, 1936, the very first state highway marker was erected in Granville County in the town of Stovall to commemorate the life of John Kennedy. This prestigious award is indicative of volunteer service. I now ask that the presenter of tonight's award, Mr. Marshall Tanner, to please come forward and say a few words. Good evening. Good evening. This year's winner of the John Penn Award is a very special Granville County lady. When asked to describe her, you would hear adjectives such as modest, empathetic, selfless, generous, and helpful. She never looks for the limelight. She does most of her best work in the shadows, where very few people can see her helping other people. For many years, she served as the migrant coordinator for Granville County Schools' second language program. And among her many fans are fellow former students, fellow teachers, neighbors, church goers, and just a lot of good old friends. Her official positions range from the vestry of her church to the board of ACIM, the advisory council of the Girls and Boys Club, and St. Stephen's Volunteer Reading Coordinator for Cradle School. In addition to her official roles, you will probably find her taking food to an ACIM person who can't make it down to the office. And then also, she's also helping to deliver food baskets and, and presents at Thanksgiving and at Christmas. You can also see her riding down the road behind her husband's pickup truck, all the beds and furniture, to the other people who are in special need. Her many interests include the Granville Cattle, Granville County Cattlemen's Association, where she was just named the 2017 Cattle Woman of the Year. She opens up her home to many farm tours and, and pasture walks, including the five county beef tour. In addition, she is very active in the county extension office. There, she serves on the Advisory Leadership Committee and many other subcommittees. Furthermore, she volunteers at the Family and Customer Science Committee, and she also helps FCS agents with her bilingual skills and the needs assessment in the Latino community. During the holidays, her home is always a welcoming place for celebration for those who are alone or who maybe live far away. There they find great warmth, great food, and much, much laughter. Laura Seifert Santos Giggle, excuse me, never loses focus on what's important in life, the people of Granville County. Laura is an advocate for society and education. She is that special citizen who bridges a gap in the different communities, both socially and economically. While her list of accomplishments and involvements can go on and on, we're all grateful that Laura's home is in Granville County. Congratulations, Laura. You are the 2017 John Perry recipient.
that list of, uh, of names uh, and to hear mine called at the, at the end is very special. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.